Hi, I'm Art Suwan Sang. I'm a BenQ brand ambassador and an X-Ride Colorado. And in this video, what I'd like to do is focus on the BenQ SW line of display. The BenQ SW line of display is a professional hardware calibrated display that are designed specifically for photographers and creative professionals who needs really good, super accurate colors. The nice part about having a hardware calibrated display is that all the color profiling is, is actually done within the panel itself. This way you get a much smoother tone and better color. Now what happened is that with all the BenQ SW lines of display, it all comes with multiple calibration slots. So that makes it very easy for us creative professional who works on multiple device to set our calibration slot so that we can, for instance, set calibration slot one for our desktop and for instance, calibration slot two, specifically for our laptop or our portable devices, any one that we may have. Now, provided that we have come in initially and calibrated both of the devices, we can just simply plug the devices in and simply just set up the calibration slot to, for example, slot one for the desktop or slot two for the laptop. Now, for the display that I have here, this is the SW271, is there 4K display and is one of the later models with the later firmware. This also includes the SW240 as well. And the reason why I call out these two individual models is because there are the newer, newer models with newer firmware and it comes with three calibration slots. So when you have three calibration slots, this kind of opens up a lot more room for creativity and how we can use it. So for instance, if we have a display like this one here with three custom hardware calibration slot, what I can do is for instance, I can reserve the first two for just my desktop. And I can, for instance, come in and play with what I call or what I like to call dual luminance. So for instance, on calibration slot one, I can set the luminance to 80 candela. So this will be a darker luminance that I can kind of view and use when I'm doing editing. And I can also set, for example, calibration slot two for 120 candela. So the 120 candela would be my reference. So I can see the difference between 80 and 120. I can flip back and forth between them and determine the print brightness or the picture for the pictures that I'm editing for that matter. Now, because it has a third slot, I can specifically assigned a third slot to my laptop. And now I have my devices, for example, my desktop in this case, and also my laptop covered, and also I can do dual luminance with it. So in this video, I like to show you how you can do that and how you can set these up. Now I'm only going to show you briefly how you go through the palette master element setup screen. I'm not going to go through the full calibration. I made a separate palette master element calibration video. And I'm going to put that link in the video in the description so that you can go and check out that video. If you have any further questions about how to use palette master element and do calibration. So let's get on with this. And now we are going to start calibrating slot one. So we're going to come here and click on start. We're going to choose profiling, which is already selected for us by default. Click next. Now this is a screen where we would come in and set the luminance point. In this case, because I mentioned that this is going to be for our desktop device and this display, this specific model has three calibration slot for slot one. What I like to do is set the display a little bit darker. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to 80 candela. Just go ahead and put the cursor in there, erase the value that was there before and just type in 80 and you're fairly set. Go ahead and click on next here. And now this is where you would come in. So in this screen itself, you would pick the calibration slot that you want to do it for. So right now, always is going to default to calibration one. However, if I want to choose another calibration slot, what I can do is go ahead and click on a drop down list here. And in this case, you can see there's calibration two and three. Now, if your BenQ SW series of display only has two calibration slot, it will only show calibration one and calibration two. So this also gives you a visual cue as well. If you're not, if you're uncertain whether your model has two or three calibration slots. Now, like I said, in this case, we're going to go ahead and select one. The next thing what I recommend that you all do is this is come in here and I would just go ahead and erase the name for the most part that is given you here. So in this case, we're going to keep the dot ICC profiling uh, as the extension to the file and we're going to delete it. So right now on the name to file, I have SW271 and dot ICC space dot ICC. What I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to put in L 
80. Now, if you need to know what calibration slot you can you set this to, you can actually do, for example, I'm going to go also put Cal 1. This way, I know luminance is set to 80 on this one and is calibration slot 1. Once you have set this, pick the number of size patch you want to use and click on Start Measurement. So now that you have finished calibrating slot one, we're going to start the whole process again and calibrate the display for slot two. So in this case, we, like I said, we're going to start again. We're going to do profiling here. Come again, click on next. And this is where, again, we would come in and change the luminance value. So in previously for slot one, we have set the luminance value for 80. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and set the luminance value for 120. Go ahead and type that in there. We're going to go ahead and click on next. And this is where we would come in and click the calibration slot here. And we're going to go ahead and click down and then choose calibration two in this case. So we're doing this so that we can actually target this calibration for 120 candela to slot two. As you can see, palette master element is talking to the display and is already adjusting the display itself to calibration slot two. Now, one of the things that I would recommend that you do again as well here is to come in and also make sure that you set the naming convention properly so that you know what luminance value it is. In this case, we're going to go ahead and set luminance value for SW271L120, that's for luminance 120 candela, and then we're going to put in the word Cal2. This is for calibration slot 2, so we're going to go ahead and do that, and you just go ahead and click on Start Measurement. So now that we have the display slot one and slot two calibrated for a dual luminance, in this case on my Mac Pro desktop here, I'm going to show you a few of the settings that you need to make sure that you set every time you flip between each different calibration slots. This way you are setting the correct profile that corresponds to the proper calibration slot. So the first thing I'm going to do here is go into system preferences and under display, I'm going to choose color. Now in this case, I already have profiled this off camera. And so the profile name may be a little different, but I know that the SW right there on my screen, SW271L80 or luminance 80 candela, in this case corresponds to slot one. And the one right above it, the SW271L120, 120 candela corresponds to slot two. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and start with slot one first. So I'm gonna go ahead and select SW271L80. And I'm going to come to the hockey puck now, which is another convenient feature that the BenQ SW line display have. So I'm going to go ahead and press any button really. And in this case, like the center button, I just press the OK button. Go into this mode right here. This is a color mode. And under color mode, I want to make sure that if I'm on 80 candela or calibration one, I want to make sure that it's set on slot one right there or calibration one, as you can see there. This is properly set. This is the proper viewing for 80 candela and also the proper profile for it. Now let's say if I'm editing a photo and I like to go into the 120 candela for reference this time. Well, if I want to be really thorough about it, what I need to do here is come here and click on SW 120, excuse me, right there back, SWL120, there we go. And then what I'm going to do here is come back to the hockey puck, back to the color mode, and I'm going to go ahead and set this to calibration two. So once I've done this, you will you may notice in the video the display is a touch brighter. That's because this is about 40 candela brighter than calibration one. This is calibration slot two. So that's how you would switch between the two different dual luminance mode. Now, I'm also going to make a separate video as well on how you can customize these custom function buttons on the hockey puck so that you can easily switch between different calibration modes without having to go through the entire display menu or part of the display menu like I've shown earlier. So now I have the laptop connected to the display. Because this BenQ display has three calibration slots, I'm going to use calibration slot three to hold the custom profile for my laptop specifically. So in this case, I would go through the calibration again with my laptop. Again here, I'm gonna come here and go ahead and click on start. Profiling with palette master element. 
This is where, again, I would come in and set the luminance level. In this case, I'm going to set the luminance level to 80. Click Next. And this is where I would come in and again pick the calibration slot. In this case, because I'm going to use calibration slot 3, I'm going to go ahead and click on the drop down list. Click calibration slot 3 right there. Give it a second because the display is now communicating with Palette Master Element and switching over to the calibration slot 3. You saw the screen flicker a moment ago. This is actually the display changing through to the other calibration slot. So in this case, we're going to slot three. Again, if you want to come in and give this a custom profile name, I highly recommend that you do that. A couple of tips, make sure you leave the .icc at the end. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use this, um, say SW271L80. Now, I'm not naming this profile specifically for my laptop, because the profile is just going to be on my laptop. It won't commingle with my desktop, so I don't really have to worry about defining which machine I'm using this on. Once you're done with this, go ahead and click on Start Measurement and just do the profiling. Just a few tips about laptop calibration. If you have your laptop set on mirroring display, that means the BenQ display is showing the same as the built-in internal display of laptop, Palette Master Element will give you an error and it will stop you from calibrating the profile. It will tell you exactly what you need to do, but just in case you run into problems, you'll know. The other thing too is that I will put a link to a video in the description below this, and that is a video on how you can calibrate your laptop using i1 Profiler. And that video shows you a lot of tips and tricks on how to get the best calibration and how to get the best profile out of your laptop. That includes turning off a lot of features in terms of power saving and also color, uh, different color management such as Night Shift on a MacBook Pro and so forth. But now that I have the calibration done for my laptop, what I'm going to do here is go ahead and make sure, I'm going to start with the BenQ in this case. So a couple of things, it doesn't really matter whether you change the calibration slot on the display first or you do the software profile on the computer first, it really doesn't matter. As long as you set them to the corresponding one, you're good. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and come on the hockey puck here and go ahead and press just the center button OK to make sure that it acknowledged me in case it did. I'm going to go into the color mode right now. And I'm going to go ahead and set this to calibration three. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is come into my Mac system under system preferences. And again, I'm going to go in under display color. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and pick the SW271 MBP luminance 80. I put down MBP for MacBook Pro. Again, the profile name doesn't match up exactly what I've shown earlier because I've actually done the calibration off screen in order for us to save time. Again, if you'd like to see a video on how to do a full calibration with Palette Master Element, I will put a link in the description below this video. Then you can go ahead and click on there and watch that video. So now that we are finished with our calibration, you now know how to calibrate your BenQ SW line display for multiple devices or for a single device with dual luminance. I hope that you find this video useful and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment below.